speak about 147. Spence Ugas. Yes, Spence Ugas. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, what did you think? Impressive. Mm. Im- impressive. Mm. Um, impressive. I saw Arrow. I saw his training videos, and you know, saw the way his body looked, and I tweeted that you know he looked like a man on a mission. You just got that. You can tell when a fighter is just training, and when they're training with a sense of urgency. And uh, you know, he he had a sense of urgency about him, mm. in in his training, and, and a sense of urgency with his focus. Um, so I knew he was going to be ready. I expected more out of Ugas. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't think that's, uh, that's you know, a knock on Ugas. I just think that just Errol was just that great that night, mm-hmm. you know. And I just got a lot of respect for Errol um, for what he's gone through and how he's bounced back, you know. It, it's, 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 uh, it, it's, it's remarkable, man. And that, that young man has a, has a tremendous story. Uh, hopefully he writes a book one day. And, and, and I know his story's still being written, but, like, you know, he, 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 some of the stuff he's overcome just outside the ring is phenomenal. And, and his goal was always undisputed. And, and here he is, you know, him and, uh, one of my other brothers in the sport, Terrence Crawford, it looks like it's going to happen. I believe it's going to happen. And, um, this is what we need in boxing, but this is what both of these fighters need for their legacy. They both had great careers, but, but this takes them to a different stratosphere, the winner of that fight. Mm. And, you know, I don't get involved in their politics. And when I say politics, I mean the boxing beef and, and the back and forth. I don't touch that. I stay out the way. I know my lane. When I talk to Errol, I talk to Errol about Errol. We talk. When I talk to uh, Terrence, I talk to Terrence about Terrence. I don't never get involved. And, man, this is how you beat this one. This is how you beat that one. I don't get involved. And I stay out the politics. Mm. But I love them both. I wish they both could, could win the fight. Bar up draw, that's not gonna happen. Hmm. You know, when I, even a draw, you didn't win. So, like, I wish they both could win the fight, but that's not that's not possible. But I just appreciate how these young men have carried themselves, man, and uh, just how they went about their business. And you know, boxing is a is a is a very difficult sport, bro. Like, and I'm not just talking about the punches. I'm talking about the business, the media, the temptations, the you know, the the fight to stay focused, all of that stuff, hmm. all of that stuff. And, and and here they are, you know, they're, they're setting their families up for life, and uh, they're they're on the they're on the, the precipice of, of of an all time great welterweight fight. And what I know about both of those guys, neither dude is gonna be turned around easily. Mm. Neither dude is gonna be turned away easily. So they both gonna have to go to go through fire to get it done. And I just can't wait. I just can't wait. Mm. Well, I, I just can't wait. It, I mean, I, I I think all of us agree. I mean, none of us can't wait for that fight. Um, doesn't sound like anyone's going to be getting a breakdown from you regarding that particular fight. Um, but just like when you like when you imagine that fight, it, it, are are there any other fights in the past you could kind of I don't want to say compare them to, but just kind of. Um, you know, describe how it might play out, I guess, so to speak. Like, is this like a, a, a Leonard Hearns type of fight? Um, you know, is this going to be? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Not, not, not necessarily stylistically, but, right. but in terms of the magnitude and absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, and, um, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to say this, like, and both fighters know this already. Mm-hmm. Neither fighter has ever fought a fighter like the other. EJ has never fought a Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford has never fought an Errol Spence. Mm. And as much experience as they have, they don't have any experience fighting fighting any fighter like the other. Uh, and then you got all the years of build-up and the things that have been said and then things that, you know, obviously heating up again because... You know the, the potential, the the, uh, the the potential for the fight to happen is, is fresh and new, coming off you know Spence coming off the who got win. But you know, as a as an analyst and as a fan, I want to see how Bud deals with the steady pressure of Arrow, right? Like Arrow, people say, oh, you know, he fights one way, but it's it's effective. 
and and it's a reason why he's breaking down and beating a lot of great dudes and why he has the resume that he has. Mm -hmm. And I want to see how Terrence Crawford deals with the physical strength of Errol Spence. I want to see how Terrence Crawford deals with the southpaw style of Errol Spence, the body punching from Errol Spence, because Errol's going to go downstairs, and when you get into the body, you ain't got to go down, but it's still affecting you. And it, and it shows up midway through the fight, late in the fight, and that's going to be a, a, a grueling fight. So so everything is going to count. Everything is going to matter. Right? I want to see how Terrence Crawford deals with the power of Errol Spence. And the other side of the coin is I want to see how Errol Spence deals with <clears throat> the reach of Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford, his arms are extremely long. Me and him, shadow box, we play, and sometimes he'll get something close to my face, and I'm like, bro, how you reach that? His <laughs> arms are extremely long. Mm. For, for being a welterweight. I don't know if it's 73, 74, somewhere around there, but he's got a long arm. How's Errol going to deal with that, the, the reach of Terrence Crawford? How's Errol Spence going to deal with the different styles that Terrence can bring to the table? Terrence can bang. Terrence can float around and box on his toes. Terrence can fight off the jab. And, and Errol can too, but I'm just I'm just talking about um, Terrence right now. Mm -hmm. how, how is Errol going to deal with the power from Terrence Crawford. When he gets hit on the chin for the first time, how, what's going to be his response? Mm -hmm. So I can go back and forth all day about what either fighter brings to the table, and we just don't know. We can speculate, but we don't know. They got to get in the ring, and we got to see it unfold. And I'm telling you, that's going to be an all-time great welterweight fight. And, and, I, and I believe, and I don't know how they're going to work it, but I believe that there should be a rematch clause for both fighters. So I, I, I believe we, we should be on the hook for at least two fights with these two fighters. Mm. I can't see a scenario where it's a one and done for one guy and, and, and the other guy has um, a rematch clause. I think they both should have one. So we're probably on the hook for a two-fight deal at least. Mm. I cannot wait. And that is probably the closest we will get to a breakdown of that fight from <laughs> Hall of Famer Andre Ward. I will take yeah. that. I will take that. Come on.